Hello, the Never Thresher, and that's Bobrick Channel at YouTube. And of course. <sighs> so, after Possessed by Fire was released, actually, during uh, while I was reading uh, the booklet inside the uh, album that we are going to review, apparently, Mom then, uh, Mom von Stain, or something, I, I just butchered his name actually left after, right after the uh, the recording of, of the album, actually wasn't, uh, he left even before the album was even uh, be released. And so it definitely kind of hurt the band a bit. Even though Possessed by Fire uh, uh, was, uh, is looked as a classic, can the same band can be said for the follow-up album? Rising from the Sea. Now, whenever you uh, look at reviews, whatever, especially on the Metal Archives, it's not nearly as high as, um, as, let's say, you know, Possessed by Fire. Some say it's probably a weak follow-up. And I've always kind of wondered why. Before, when I, when I um started listening to Exumer, I did listen to uh, Rising from the Sea, and I was listening to it, and I could not see why the sound isn't seen as a classic. I mean, as far, you know, uh, not seen as a good album. The, the album uh, features a different uh, singer, or at least bass player and singer named uh, Paul Arakaki. Hope I said his last name right. Who's definitely a much more, let's say, much more uh, pissed off vocalist, let's just say. He's definitely more uh, ru rougher around the, a uh, little more, uh, definitely pissed is definitely the best way to put it. It's more of that hardcore punk kind of song, or just your typical thrash metal uh, singing. Almost uh, kind of reminiscent to the more uh, kind of deeper vo uh, vocal style of... Um, Razor's uh, Sheepdog. Almost like a Lemmy's type of uh, style a bit, uh, mixed in. It's just kind of your typical thrash metal vocalist, but though, be quite honest, he actually fits this album. The vocal uh, style of the, it, it fits it. It's a very pissed off album in ways. This is definitely the uh, Rising from the Sea is more closer. Instead of the very uh, metallic, uh, like Kill 'Em All or Bonded by Blood, uh, worship of uh, Possessed by Fire that will that it was. This sound was a bit more closer to to the likes of me, like Slayer or Razor or um, you know, or even like especially Destruction and uh, not as much Creator, but kind of closer, even like Death Row, some of the more other German thrash metal bands. It's definitely a much more angrier album. And it's definitely uh, present within a song such as Are You Death? Which is probably the um, probably the humorous song on here, but it's not technically humorous since the uh, it is definitely a, a, almost like well, very much around the hardcore punk style, kind of like the later uh, uh, parts of Slayer, the later years of that band. Uh, but other than that, there's there really isn't a bad song. Sure, it's probably not as as let's say as catchy, I would say as uh, possessed by fire, but still is a pretty damn good follow up to to the album. There's definitely some high points on this album as well, especially within the uh, winds of winds of death. Uh, of course, there is "Are You Dare," which is "I Dare You," actually, which is I just fucked that up. Which is also another good one, but one of the best songs on here is also has to be the last song, Ascension Day, which is just a killer way to end the album. I don't see any problems with this album. Sure, it's probably not as strong as it, because at times it kind of seems to take a little dip a bit. Uh, the title track is actually pretty good as well. Uh, there, uh, I can't think, um, Unearthed it isn't too bad. Let me, uh, let me look at the back. And of course... Eh. 
think De Decimation and uh, Shadows of the Past, I think, are kind of the weakest songs on here. But even the weakest songs in the album are still pretty uh, enjoyable. There isn't really a bad song here. Everything is just, uh, it's just more angrier in ways. And I guess I can see why that uh, this is a little off-putting to some, maybe, because of it is a very much uh, straight-in-your-face uh, type of style. It, it, it's just kind of a little, um, maybe at times, uh, Paul uh, Arakaki kind of uh, forces a bit of the vocal style, but I think that's kind of the... Uh, what I, I I can see that as a bit of an off putting, but I think it just adds a bit to more of the sound, so uh, to its more raw, very unbridled uh, edge to it. Kind of like uh, the uh, especially within a song such as uh, "Are You Deaf," where it just hits that uh, the chorus part, which is just it just speeds right through it. By uh, when he just speeds his. Uh, vocal, uh, his singing range or something, just the lyrics, it just gets sped up and sped up a, a bit. But it adds something to that. And plus, Are You Deaf is probably the more hardcore punk uh, style song. It's definitely a more of that hardcore punk infused thrash metal. It's not crossover, it's not like uh, SOD, it's not like DRI or something, though I'm, or uh, Black Flag or something. It's not really mixing some of that within here, but is definitely kind of something like uh, what Rain and Blood probably could have been, I would say. But it's definitely a more Slayer uh, type of type of influenced album, even though there is still that Teutonic edge to it. Other than that, I can't say that this is a bad album. Definitely, I would say it's uh, to me. I think it's probably just as good as uh, Possessed by Fire, but I wouldn't say it's as better than it I, at times. It does lose a bit. Even though I love the album uh, uh, quite a bit, it's just, I guess there really isn't that much to it, but it's, I don't think it deserves the bit of um, the uh, treatment that, that it gets from the, uh, the, the metal, you know, the thrash metal department. I don't think it deserves the... Uh, Let's just say it, it doesn't get bashed, but I don't think that it, it deserves the uh, the, res uh, the respect that, that that's been getting. It's a, definitely a solid album and a solid follow-up. Now, after this, this would actually... I know they would record one more thing before they would split up, but... Uh, how, but however... During the course of the not late 90s and early 2000s, there would be some interest. They would definitely get get back together, but however, right around 2012, we end up seeing the welcome return. Yes, after this, they will we will get to fire and damnation. But besides that. What uh, did you think of this album at all? Are you, uh, do you, I want to hear your honest opinion. Do you think the album is actually that, do you think it's a pretty good follow-up? Do you think it's actually better than uh, Possessed by Fire? Or do you think that it's probably not that good? Or do you think it's kind of a crappy album? What is your true honest opinion on Rising from the Sea? Until then, this is Epithrasher saying, I am out. Later. Later.